Hey everyone, it's Diablo Fred here. Um, uh, today I wanted to do something different, and uh, I have three items I want to unbox. I told myself instead of doing three separate videos, I would do one big unboxing with all three items. All right, so why not? I haven't seen anybody do it, so told myself I would give it a try. The first thing is um, this mic, it's a lavalier mic microphone, obviously for the filming. Uh, right now it's not plugged in, so the way we're going to test this, once I open the box and take the mic out and I show it to you guys after, I'm going to plug it in and you guys will be able to tell the difference in between now and when the mic is plugged in and I will continue the rest of the video with the mic. We also have an adapter. And we'll check this out right after. Now let's uh, open this. It's called U Mic. Uh, there's very good reviews for this on Amazon. I got it from Amazon. Uh, people seemed happy. I filmed a couple, a bit of footage with it already. So when you open the box. You get a bunch of stuff. So you get to thank you for choosing us. Uh, you might card user's guide if you scan the QR. Well, you don't really need a guide. Uh, they also include a uh, sticker cleaner. Uh, whoops. I'm gonna admit, I didn't see this when I opened it. I guess I didn't empty the box properly. Probably try it on my screen eventually. So, here's the mic we get in a nice little pouch. It looks a bit like um, YouTube. You get a nice little pouch. When I'm done with the mic, I just put it back in here, put it back into the plastic, and in the box it goes. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. Alright, so, you get the mic. Will you focus? All right, there we go. The mic. Nicely bundled. Uh, you get a 3.5 millimeter adapter. I'm not sure why. Um, I guess maybe because it's longer. Whoops, sorry. It is both of them are 3.5 so I'm not sure why they would uh, include that I guess if you want a bit if you want it a bit longer mm, yeah not sure why anyways let's move on uh, they give you an extra little dip in red to keep with the <coughs> Sorry about that. To keep with the YouTube theme, which is good. All right, let's unravel this mic. It goes uh, fairly long, um, fifty-nine inches. So uh, twelve inches is a feet. Uh, so about five feet. Okay, so. That's pretty much the microphone. Uh, here we have an extension cable. I don't really need to unravel this because I'm sure you guys watching my channel, you know what an extension cable looks like. Here we go. This is supposed to be 79 inches, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, 79 inches. Two meters or six feet. About six feet. Uh, 
I spoke with the company uh, you Mike selling this and uh, they have a good service I contacted them um, after a follow-up feedback email they sent me uh, there was some publicity in it um, for uh, to get this to get the extension or a Y splitter when uh, you left a review and such and such so I contacted him to see exactly if that was real and how it worked and I got myself the extension which will make filming a lot easier now I'm gonna plug the mic in and you guys will be able to see the difference and I'll film the rest of the video with uh, the mic Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I changed the name of the channel. Alright, let me plug the mic in. Alright, this is with... This is the audio with the mic. It's attached on my t-shirt, right on the collar. And, uh, yeah. You guys can surely tell the difference. I will know once I edit the video how it came out. Hopefully I don't have to film it again. If you guys are wondering what these lights are for, this is for the longboard. I'm going to put it on the kicktail deck uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow night. Um, yeah, next product. I needed uh, a power bank to plug the two lights into so I need a dual USB power bank I got myself uh, an anchor because we all know anchor makes great products it's always uh, you can you can depend on anchor and the service is great too if you have any problems or issues they'll help you uh, they'll help you solve them Oh, and I reviewed their Motion Q uh, speaker, which which was awesome, right here. I'm still trying to figure out a way to mount it on my board. Okay, so one, we open the box, we get a power bank. I did open it to charge this. It has some weight to it, but this thing is tiny. Like my freaking light spool is the same size as this. So when you open it, you get um, the anchor, the power bank. This is a 13,000 milliamp hours power bank. There we go. Double, double USB out. Uh, input out, output actually it has uh, the anchor uh, IQ quick charge in it too and what else do you get in here you get a little box the typical anchor anchor thank you card happy not happy uh, card and everything you get a welcome guide it shows you how to use the power bank but anyways you don't need instructions you plug the cable in it charges out and then you plug the other cable in and it charges your bank let's see what we get in here this I did not open and look in here so oh that's cool that's pretty cool. You get a nice little mesh bag. Has a nice thickness to it, so it should hold the it should hold the power bank pretty well. And the typical micro USB wire, which I usually I use a power line for my um, from my mobile phone, which is also from Anchor, and that's what I use to charge everything. There you go. Fits nice and neatly. 
But like this power bank is tiny. It's, it's really small. Um, I need to get a ruler so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about here. Well, I didn't find a ruler, but I found my tape measuring, so. Let's see. Um, focus. So we have three and three quarter inches. What is that? 9.7, is that seven or six, seven? 9.7 centimeters or 97 millimeters. That's the length, the width. A uh, tad short of three inches. Let's call it three. Um, yeah, let's call it three inches, or seven point uh, six, seven point six centimeters, or seventy-six millimeters. And let's see here. Uh, just about uh, seven eighths of an inch or two centimeters on the dot is yeah, let's call it 2.1 or 21 millimeter and for the weight I'm not sure the weight but it has a, a bit of weight to it I'm not gonna lie so the reason why I purchased this one in particular uh, it's because they said uh, shock proof and vibration tested as well which is what I need because this is going under my electric board uh, to supply my lights and it vibrates quite a bit and we have cracks and so it's got to survive and since they tested that hopefully it's true uh, this should hold up I already had another one, but uh, if you're in Canada, Prime Cables, very good company. You can get all your wire needs and electronics and stuff like that. They might even ship to the U.S., so uh, just check them out. I'm sure, I don't remember, no, I didn't show you guys this one or how I mounted my old lights on the first board. The reason being is because I was switching board and I'm going to show you guys how I mount the new ones. But this was the power bank uh, I would use and it's pretty big. This thing's like really big. And this one, you know, six inches by uh, four and a half about. This one just simply didn't fit uh, with the two plugs in. It didn't fit properly in the kicktail deck because the kicktail deck is smaller so i got this one and just to compare the sizes yeah it's a major difference thickness though this one was really slim this one's a little thicker but i needed the smallest real estate as possible the power core 13,000 model a12 is that a 215 Yes, it is. A1215. You can get this on Amazon. Put all this back. And then we're going to unbox the piece of resistance. This power bank, you will see it again. The board swap video is made. I'm just... I was getting... I was waiting to get the next product that we're going to unbox. All right, this is the anchor power bank. Power core 13,000 million. All right, the piece of resistance, the missing piece, the missing link is an action cam. I needed a camera that could film uh, better footage when I'm writing and stuff because like I said I'm filming with my cell phone uh, it's still a good cell phone it's an s7 but uh, the focus just in all my videos the focus it just trips out when it's moving too quick and I can't afford a three four hundred dollar vlogging camera so the next best thing was 
Prime Day. Took a look and found this for under 50 bucks. Or it was 50 bucks, something like that. Uh, it's an action camera. Just got it today. We're going to make some nice footage with this for the board. Uh, I'm going to make some nice writing footage for you guys. And I'm going to include that footage with the board swap video. Uh, which will also include the, the light setup and everything. So let's go and unbox this. This is the Ape Man uh, A77. I purchased this on Amazon, obviously, uh, during Prime Day. Funny fact, they call Prime Day uh, the Black Friday equivalent, but uh, Black Friday you can get some crazy deals. And on Prime Day, you gotta find that hidden gem because most of the stuff is 20% off. I don't call that a crazy deal. All right. Now let's check this out. Ape Man. Hello, Ape Man. Hello, hello card. Uh, typical thank you for buying this. If you have a problem, feel free to contact us. I will do if I have a problem. Uh, user manual. Can't be hard to use this. Oh, let's look at some specs. Okay, so, will you focus so I can show people specs? Uh, it is 4K possible, but what I really wanted was a 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, I just, I'd rather have that than 4K, uh, just because it's 60 frames per second, and when you're doing, a, for example, a writing video, it's better to have 60 frames per second than uh, 4K. If you can get both, then you hit the jackpot and you have more money than me to afford the camera that does it. But I can't, so I was aiming for the 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, image resolution for the camera. Will you stop moving a second? There you go. We have a 16 megapixel. I'm not sure if this one goes to the 16. I think this model is a 12. But it says 16 here, so I might be wrong. Uh, for the lens, we have 170 degree HD wide angle fish eyed lens, uh, H.264 video compression format. This is pretty much standard. Uh, video and image format, MOV and JPEG. Uh, it has Wi Fi connection. I don't think I'll be using that because uh, usually cameras, action cameras with Wi Fi. It's not the best thing unless it's like GoPro or a super expensive one. Storage is a 32 gig micro SD card, class 10 plus recommended. Obviously if you're making videos you want to use a class 10 card, anything lower than that is just a waste of time. USB 2.0, that's how you know it's a cheap camera. Uh, charging time 2 hours, continuous recording time. Uh, up to 90 minutes. Uh, let's point out that 90 minutes is certainly not on the 4K. Uh, maybe not even on the 60 frames a second. It's probably on the 720p or maybe the 1080p in 30 frames per second. Uh, we'll find out, but if you leave it connected to a power bank, it shouldn't be an issue unless if you're using the waterproof, uh, unless you're, hey, Will you focus? Unless you're using the waterproof case, then you cannot plug anything at all like any other cam. <clears throat> uh, what else? Uh, typical battery, 1050. Waterproof case, 30 meters. Uh, language options. Yeah, typical stuff. It weighs 64 grams, dimensions 59 by 41 by 25 millimeters. Um, let's see, inches 2.33 inches by 1.61 by 0.97. All right. Getting started and all the instructions and what the buttons are and 
how to put it on the floor and stomp on it to break it and why they're not going to warranty you for that. All that good stuff is in here and multiple languages. We don't care anymore. Let's move on to the good stuff. Uh, this is my first action camera. Wow, this thing's tiny. I don't know. It's my first one, so I'm not sure, but is it supposed to be this tiny? Man, it looks, it's the size of a GoPro Session 5. Oh, this is neat. This is going to be cool. This is going to make some nice footage. So here's a case, typical case. But look how small this camera is. No, oh, it has a fairly big screen. Ooh, monkey man. No SD card. Obviously, I didn't put one in yet. So it's already on the 1080p. It says it has fisheye lens. Uh, doesn't seem to be uh, pronounced fisheye, which is good. I don't want a super pronounced fisheye lens. You guys all see uh, the footage because the footage will be all the writing footage will be made with this uh, neat little toy. Cool. I'm really glad I bought this. I needed a, a camera like this for my footage. I couldn't find anybody that had one that could uh, lend me one. I don't have that many friends. Uh, what else do we have in here? Let's put this back in here properly. Nice, nice robust uh, case, typical case. I've been noticing the cases have been coming with big lenses like this. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just for show. Well, let's turn it on and we'll see quickly. No, my fish eye doesn't look uh, any more pronounced. I think it's just to make it look cool. Well, that's cool. I like it. Uh, there should be accessories in it, too. So I guess that's all in here. Okay, let's see what we got. So, we got uh, wires to attach, I guess, to keep it safe. Uh, some foam, is this foam? Yeah, this is foam and a rag. Uh, the charging cable, micro USB, probably won't use it. Uh, judging by this, this looks like a bike mount. Extra battery. Uh, some more clippy doodads. What's this? Okay. Some more clips. There's probably a piece that goes with that. Uh, another clip to do that. Now this is what I saw a picture for this and this is mostly what I'm going to use so I can um, yeah so you can hear audio and I can plug a mic in. I'm pretty sure I'll need a, an adapter but that's no big deal. Um, Maybe that's where it attaches back here. Nope, and I'm looking stupid as fuck right now. Uh, some more clip of doodads. Ah, there we go. Oh, a belt clip too. No, this is probably just to put it on a dashboard or something. There we go. This probably goes in here. Plonk. Clip this on my belt until I get the head strap. 
Uh, what else do we have in here? Okay, Velcro straps. Uh, yeah, the typical mount. Uh, a strap. Another do that clip, and we have a remote. So I figure. <coughs> So I, sorry about that. So I figure this strap is for this remote. And it would go something like that. Onto your wrist. I might just keep it in my pocket. So we have record and video. Alright. 20 accessory kit. Again, let's take a look at this again. For 50 bucks, I was expecting a lot more cheapness, uh, even some looseness, but nothing is moving. Nothing is loose. Oh, I just saw something in the box. Okay, that's another, another back door with some slits. Probably to pass a strap through, so if you want to put on your belt or something. Um... I would not recommend using this if you're going to put this near water or in water just because obviously there's a big giant slits here and the water will get in and ruin your camera. Indeed it will. So to open this you just lift there. It has nice decent pressure. And you open this. Nice gasket and some little foam feet and then the camera just pops out and sorry for the lighting the lighting ain't good eventually I'll get some proper lights uh, so this is the Ape Man A77 action camera available on Amazon they have multiple models a simple simple camera two buttons up and down power button and the mode button are in one there you go power button and mode button uh, here we have micro USB a micro SD slot and this uh, should be HDMI HDMI out yeah H out HD out so yeah uh, micro HDMI uh, battery goes in here there's one thing I don't like about whoops I turned it on there's one thing I dislike about action cameras uh, and it's these doors these battery doors I don't care who makes it they're all janky and nothing holds from what I see I'm probably going to put some duct tape when I'm not using the waterproof case, which I probably will hardly use since I'm more likely going to use the belt clip. And I want audio, so this if I put this in the case, there will be no audio. I'm going to have to record uh, on my phone or separately. So, it's a little tiny battery. All right, here we have an extra battery. So we have two batteries. <clears throat> so unless you're going for hours, hours of footage, two batteries might just be enough if you're just grabbing some writing footage and such. Uh, if you use this for as a dash cam for uh, in your car, on your motorcycle, on your bike, I'm probably always going to have it on my belt. Uh, with the belt clip uh, attachment we saw for security purposes but also to get some board riding footage um, I will most likely just plug it with a power bank that I'll carry in my pocket I carry a slim power bank uh, most of the times with me anyways you see there's there's that's what I mean about these janky doors there's Nothing really that holds it shut. If you sneeze, this could probably open on its own. 
But anyhow, all the cameras are made like that. It's not really a concern unless you make it one. So I'll put it in here for now. And this, you just bring this up onto the ledge right there. And then just push down, everything clamps into place. Nice and solid. And you're good to go. Put this on a mount, click. And so, yeah, that's about, that's about the unboxing uh, for the stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna make some writing footage uh, with this camera. Probably, I'm probably gonna go out maybe tonight to try it out at nighttime. I gotta put my LEDs on the board so I can get some cool footage without focus problems like in the last video. So get some wheel action. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video after this. Hopefully uh, we'll have some more stuff to show. Put some more writing. Uh, like I said in, uh, in the board swap video, uh, I'm gonna include the board swap. I'm including writing footage, probably um, mainly a daytime footage because in the last video I had to delete it. So mainly daytime, but I might squeeze in some more nighttime footage uh, if I go right at night. Uh, what else am I supposed to put in there? Uh, I'm going to show again the wheel, uh, the update I showed in the first and the last video about the midterm review, the update on the wheel I showed you. It's even worse now, so I'm going to show that and how the wheel is getting some cracking. I sent a message to Onboard to see uh, what they can do and if it's normal and everything. So I'll have news on that for you guys. Uh, we'll see how the audio came out for this unboxing video. I've been using the mic the entire time. Uh, I'm going to unplug it right now and we'll see. We'll, we'll just get another uh, audio. Okay, so now the audio should be back onto the phone speaker, or the phone mics, I mean. If you enjoyed the video, like, uh, leave a like, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Your viewership is really appreciated, especially that I'm just starting. Uh, leave your comments, uh, yeah, important, uh, if you guys have feedback uh, or uh, constructive criticism, you know about the video. Uh, if you have ideas of how I can edit stuff or footage you want to see, uh, maybe uh, the stuff you want to see. Uh, I got a bunch of pops here. Maybe you guys want me to talk about those. That's the lampster. That's the lampster. That's my little soldier light boy. Awesome light. I'm waiting for another one. I should get it uh, by Christmas. I should have it. So that is it. I'm rambling again too much. So good day, good night, and like, sub, comment. Give me your ideas. We'll do something great.